Hello, the CD Tool database is for storing your own CD data and provides a complete archive of spectra and the associated experimental and protein parameters. Processed data files can be retrieved in units of milledegrees or delta epsilon, both calibrated and uncalibrated. Raw data can also be stored and there's a provision for storing uh, data series. In this video I'll show you how to download the database and set up the MySQL server on your PC or laptop. In the following video I'll demonstrate how the database can be used. You require MySQL version 5.7. When this video was made the latest version was 5.7.33. Download and run the Web Community Installer. On the Setup page, choose Server Only. Use the default settings on the next pages. On the High Availability page, choose Standalone MySQL Server. On the type and networking page, keep the defaults unless you wish to use a different port. On the accounts page, the default username is root. Type in a password. Continue with the default settings on subsequent pages. The server should now be run in the background on your computer. There's a template database that can be downloaded from the CD Tools website. It's in a zip file and on Windows 7 or Windows 10, extract the database to this file path. Now open CD Tool X. From the database menu, choose connect to database. In the dialog box, enter the database name, the username, if you kept the default, this is root, password, the host is localhost, and the port is 3306, if you kept the default. The message confirms whether the connection has been successful. If it has, Click on the database tab and right click in the left hand window and choose refresh. Click the left hand arrow and the tables are displayed. Double click a table and the contents are shown in the right hand window. If the database does not connect, make sure the entries in the dialog box are correct. If the database does connect, its name appears in the left hand window of the database tab, but there are no tables. This usually means that the contents of the zip file downloaded from the CD Tools website has been extracted into an extra folder named CDDB. The database folder should contain just the database files. It may be useful to run the MySQL installer, which will now be on the start menu, and install the MySQL workbench. The workbench app allows you to turn the server on and off and check its status. It also enables the modification of the database by adding tables. Note that you can modify existing tables in the database, but this means it won't work properly in CD2X.